This is a very interesting case of a young adult who had presented to us with a lacrimal fistula with on and off swelling and lacrimal abscess. Doing nasolacrimal duct syringing, the cannula colors was patent. Patient also had previous ex uh, surgeries uh, done. We wanted to expose the lacrimal fistula, so with the MVR blade, the, the fistula was exposed. And to our astonishment, you know, we had lacrimal lithiasis, lots and lots of them getting exposed out. So yes, this was a very, very interesting case. Even with this fistula, you can have the lacrimal lithiasis of a long standing. Care has to be taken. Yes, under, under local anesthesia, you would want to expose and squeeze out the lithiasis which are there. These are various, various reasons which can be for the lithiasis. Uh, frequent medications, then you would also have uh, uh, dust and pollution and exposure, which is one of the causes. Uh, uh, calcium is also one of the intake which is done. Red chronic infection and a lot of medication is, a, is, a, is one of the causes for these lacrimal lithiasis. Once the exposure is done, care is taken, there are no more red lithiasis in here. The fistula is exposed and denuded and then the skin and the surrounding area is sutured with the 80 white rib. Here we are going to be taking care, okay, you are going to be inverting and, and as a normal normal sutures which are done uh, there. So with a micro forceps and micro incision, uh, 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 very well opposed uh, wound is seen and under the local anesthesia the patient has uh, has uh, undergone ointment is applied and care is taken. So this 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 was what wanted to highlight. Okay, any of these cases with fistula, one needs to take care of lithiasis too. Thank you.